Senator, Senator Hume. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister for, for Employment, Senator Cash. I refer to the misinformation campaign following the decision of the Independent Fair Work Commission on penalty rates. Can the minister update the Senate? Can the minister update the Senate on the government's response to this misinformation? The Minister for Employment, Senator Cash. Thank you, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Hume for the question. Uh, Mr. President, as you would expect, Labor and the unions have deliberately sought to mislead the Australian people in relation to the decision of the Independent Fair Work Commission when it comes to penalty rates. Now, of course, colleagues on this side of the chamber, we know why. This is nothing more and nothing less than a desperate attempt by the current Leader of the Opposition to hide from what is a very, very inconvenient truth. Let's put the facts on the record so far as Mr Shorten is concerned. Now, when he was the leader of the Australian Workers' Union, and at that time he had the responsibility of representing the workers, what did Mr Shorten do? Well, Senator Cameron. he sold them down the river. And how did he do that? He did a deal. This is Mr Shorten, the champion of the working man and working woman. He did a deal whereby he saw their penalty rates either reduced or removed. Mr Shorten had the penalty rates of some of the lowest paid workers in this country removed, and he was meant to be representing their interests. Now, Mr President, one might ask oneself, though, why would a leader of a union charged with representing the interests of the workers sell them down the river? Well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. The company Clean Event then made a secret payment to the AWU to continue this arrangement for several years, to continue the arrangement of stripping the workers' penalty rates that Mr Shorten himself when he was the head of the union, charged with representing their interests, he did. He ripped the workers off solely and with intent. Thank you, Minister. Senator Hume. Thank you, Mr. Question. President. Can the minister please outline the uneven playing field that exists between big business and small business? Minister. President, the reality is this. Unfortunately for small businesses in this country, they have had an unfair disadvantage because Mr Shorten and Labor are very happy for big unions and big businesses to do deals which basically either remove or reduce the penalty rates for workers on Sundays. Small business are not afforded this same opportunity. Let's have a look at some of the deals that have been done and how it creates an unfair playing field. A small business, a bed and breakfast, must pay $10 more an hour than for a five-star hotel on a Sunday. A family chicken shop must pay $8 an hour more than KFC. A family-owned takeaway must pay $8 an hour more than McDonald's. A family greengrocer must pay $5 an hour more than Woolworths. The decision of the Fair Work Commission it helps small business and it levels the playing field so they have half a Thank chance you, against the, the time big union deals. The question has expired. Senator Hume, a final supplementary question. Just a moment, Senator Hume. On my left, Senator Cameron in particular, on my left. Senator Hume. Thank you, Mr President. Can the minister outline the background to this decision of the Fair Work Commission? Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, colleagues, this is yet again another inconvenient truth for Bill Shorten, the Leader of the Opposition and the Australian Labor Party. The Fair Work Commission itself, this independent tribunal, was set up by oh, that would be the Australian Labor Party in 2009. The Labor Party then tasked the Fair Work Commission to review all awards every four years. As Workplace Relations Minister, because Mr Shorten does like to do things himself, like rip off workers and their penalty rates, he amended the Fair Work Act to specifically ensure that penalty rates were considered as part of this process. But, but hold on, they have even more ownership of this decision because Mr Shorten and Labor they actually appointed the members of the Commission who sat on the panel and made the decision. Good old President Ian Ross, 
He's one of them from the other side. So Mr Shorten set the rules. He appointed the umpire. He insisted on the decision, and now he's Thank running you, Minister, a mile. Thank you, Minister. The time for answering the question has expired.